I'm, I, I'm grateful. I'm saying thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I respect it. Right? But in human nature, that makes me feel like I'm better than you. You're telling me that I'm better than you. <laughs> Mighty gang, what's going on, man? It's your boy Wens bringing y'all back another video. And today, I'm here to talk about how to stand out from 99% of men. You know what I'm saying, man? So, without further ado, I want y'all to subscribe to the channel right now, and then we're going to get right into the topic, man. So, yeah, man, let's get it. So, first things first, guys. All right, first things first. Like, men, a lot of men follow the same trend. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I don't know how to explain this, but there is a small amount of men, of a little small group of guys that are different, right? And it's like most guys feel like they need to be like everybody else. Most guys feel like they need to be the same as their friends, do what their friends are doing. You know what I'm saying? And that's what makes all men, most men at least, fall into the same category. This is what makes y'all fall in the same category, man. Y'all think y'all need to follow what's lit. Y'all think you need to follow what's trending. But no, I suggest that you just be your own self, your own man. You know what I'm saying? The, the person that you're meant to be, the person that you want to be. You know what I'm saying? That's what I think y'all should do. So let's get right into it, man. So the first things first you need to do to stop being like other men is to stop pedestalizing women. Right, guys? You know what I'm saying, man? When you put women on a pedestal, you know what I'm saying? When you out here talking about, oh, hey, beautiful, you're so gorgeous, you're so, you're so pretty, oh, you're like the queen of the world, hey, queen, hey, gorgeous, hey, you're so sexy, all of that extra bullshit for no reason, that's pedestalizing women, right? And you don't want to do that because every guy is doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because, guys, what, po what power... Does she have over you if you're not pedestalizing her? You know what I'm saying? If you don't care about her looks, what power does she have over you? Nothing. Yeah, like girls gain so much power over guys because all they do is sit there and kiss their ass, making them feel like they're the fucking queen of the fucking world for absolutely no reason and their ego gets so big to the point where they feel like they're way better than you. Right? And in order for a girl to want to sleep with you, she has to see you as the same level as her, if not better than her. Right? Like, she ain't got much power over you if you, if you don't care to sleep with her. If you treat her like you don't care about sleeping with her, or about seeing her naked, she won't have any power over you. Like that whole term, uh, power of the pussy, all that bullshit comes from that. There won't be any power of the pussy if you just simply don't care about it. If you just look as, meh, just another human being. Meh. Just another creature with two legs and a mouth. With some, maybe some sexy curves. But that doesn't phase me. Right? I'm, not, like, I'm still going to treat you just like the ugly hoes. Just like the girls I don't care about. Right? She ain't got no power over you if you look at it like that. Right? Y'all, like, think about this way, bruh. If somebody, some, like, somebody's over here talking about, oh, you're so good, you're so good. I'm sure some of y'all have had this. Some people are like, tell me, oh, bro, you're so good at basketball. Oh, you're so good at this. You're so good at that. I, that I want to be just like you. Oh, like, just kissing your ass. It makes you feel like you're better than them, right? It makes you feel like you're above them. Like, niggas will be talking about, uh, bro, you have such big arms, bro. You have such a big back. Oh, like obviously, don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I'm grateful. I'm saying thank you. I appreciate the compliment. I respect it, right? But in human nature, that makes me feel like I'm better than you. You're telling me that I'm better than you, <laughs> right? I'm speaking from real life example. People in the gym be telling me all the time, it's like, yo, you have, so you have, a, you have a nice back, bro. You have a wide back. I'm saying like, oh, the, thank you, bro. And just dab them up, right? But really, what's going in my head when, when these people be doing that to me is like, it just tells me subconsciously, I'm better than you. Yeah, I, I'm better than you. You're my fucking son. 
<laughs> nah, it's just real talk, bro. That's what's going to my. That's what I feel. That's what how I feel. I'm just keeping it real, man. It just makes me feel like you're telling me that I'm better than you. That's what. Yeah, that's what you're saying, right? But um, moving on, man. Next thing to do to stand out from 99% of men is to have something extra about you, right? Have something that separates you from the average. What separates you from the average, right? What value do you bring? And I'm saying what separates, like see me, I'm a teenager. What separates me from the average teen is that I'm jacked as fuck, right? I'm jacked as fuck and I'm mature as fuck as y'all can see if y'all if y'all been watching my videos y'all can tell that a lot of people say that I'm jacked as fuck and I'm mature as fuck I look like I'm 25 that's what separates me from other teens you know I'm saying my my value you know what I'm saying my value is to impact as many men as possible you know what I'm saying before I die my value is to help as many men become the best version of themselves as possible before I die that's the value that's what separates me from the 99% of teenagers in this world. I'm trying to make an impact, right? I can help you get get in good shape physically. I can help you with your diet. I can help you become more healthy. I can help you look more attractive. Right? I can help you um, make results in the gym, right? That's the value I'm bringing, right? You need to ask yourself, what what is, what is your value? You know what I'm saying? What do you do on a daily basis? Follow me on Instagram, uh, Wensley underscore boss, right? I'm also trying to be a fitness influencer, right? That's my goal, right? That's what's separating me from the 99% of the teenagers in my hometown, at my school, let alone this world, right? I'm just simply the fact that I'm chasing my dreams, right? I'm aiming um, for something more. I'm trying to be better. I'm trying to improve my life. That itself is separating me. The fact that I'm trying it. That's what's separating me, right? So, that's what you all need to do, man. Y'all need to find something. Like, guys, you don't need to find... Again, you don't need to find what's lit or what's trending. What do you like? What do... What, what's a dream that you have? What do you like to do? Maybe you want to be the world's best chess player. The world's motherfucking best cards player. Whatever, bruh. Anything. And anything like say you want to be the world's best cards player Right you play cards every day and you just master that shit to the point where you can never lose a game of cards in your life Right, that's your thing. That's what separates you from others Right, you're good at cards Right, it don't have to be what's trending it don't got to be what's lit right it's your thing It's like how not everybody else at my school was doing fitness you know what I'm saying? Now everybody in my hometown was doing fitness, but I made it my thing. I started doing it. And now, as I can see, almost half the, half the school is following along. Almost half them seeing like, I'm, every day I'm seeing more and more of kids from my school in the gym. I'm seeing more people in my gym talking about, oh, Wens, I've been watching you on Instagram, man. Good progress, man. Good shit, man. You're looking huge, man. I'm inspired. I want to look just like you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That makes me feel good. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, yeah, man, I'm doing it. I'm studying my shit, I'm saying, people are following along now. They want to see proof first. They've seen proof, and now they want to follow along. Now they want to see that it's possible that you can look good from the gym, so they're starting to join in now. They want to start going to the gym too, right? You have to be willing to lead. You have to be willing to lead. Shit. Last but not least, guys, is... Be always, and I mean always, willing to improve. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's your looks, your money, your physique, you know what I'm saying? Your status. Never be satisfied. Never, ever be satisfied. I mean, always keep wanting more, right? I got my six pack. Oh, well, now I want an eight pack. I see that it's possible. I want an eight pack now, right? I made it to 180 pounds with abs shredded. Okay, well now I want to be 185 pounds with abs and shredded. Right? Always keep aiming higher. Always keep aiming higher. You know what I'm saying? You buy a Mercedes Benz. Okay. Now let me let, let me see if I could buy the best the next version of the, the next best version of the the Mercedes Benz. Let me see if I can have two cars. Let me see if I can buy my mom a car. Let me let, let me buy my dad a car. Right? Always aim for better, right? I can, okay, now I can bench 225. 
Let's let's try and bench 315. Now the next goal is to bench 315. Let's keep it going. Till the day you die. Till the day you die, nigga. Till the day you die, man. And that right there is what's gonna make you mighty. That right there is what's gonna make you mighty, man. Always be willing to be better. Always be willing to improve yourself, right? Because if I was satisfied, man, if I was satisfied, I'd be fat right here, man, making making videos, man. You know what I'm saying? Looking like an absolute bum. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, man? I had discipline, you know what I'm saying? I got to the gym, right? I built a foundation of my physique, and I only want more. You know what I'm saying? I keep looking at me, I'm like, you know what, man? I'm not satisfied. I want to look better and better. Let's see how good I can actually look. I want to improve my physique to the my physique to the best that they can be. All right. So, yeah, man. With that all being said, man, it's been your boy. I want you to like, share the video, and subscribe. All right. Call out your boy, man. Yeah. I'm out of here, man. That's, that right there is how you stand out from 99% of men, right? I want y'all to actually apply all that I just said to your lives. Try new things. Find what you like and be about it. You know what I'm saying? Stop pedestalizing girls. They don't like that shit. They don't like that shit, right? You're not going to get no ass doing that. So, yeah, man. Spend your boy. I'm out.